Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Music Den. I'm your host, Armando Venditti, hoping you guys are having a good night and that you're looking after yourselves and one another. Now, in light of the Black Crows releasing their new album today, Happiness Bastards, which I have right here. Okay, you can see it. Good. I thought it was a good time to do a rank in the albums on the Black Crows. So I have compiled a list of their nine albums, and we're going to go through that. But before I get into that, I'm going to give you a bit of a history of the Black Crows. Hailing from Atlanta, Georgia, forming in 1985. Uh, the Black Crows, uh, you know, blue southern rock band, considered to be the bad boys of rock. Also considered to be uh, another comparison I've heard of theirs was the 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 American Rolling Stones, which I can see that because from the minute they came out, they really played by their own rules. They really didn't care uh, who they offended. Not that they went out of their way to offend anybody, but they really didn't play the music business the way other bands or the way the media felt that the band had to, right? So the band has been signed to various labels over the years. Uh, American Recordings, Rick Rubin's label through Warner's, Columbia for one release, V2 Records for one release, also Megaforce. In 2008, the band started their own label, Silver Arrow Records. The two mainstay members of the band are and probably always will be Chris and Rich Robinson. Uh, Chris Robinson on lead vocals, uh, various instruments, acoustic guitars, percussion. Rich Robinson on guitars, backing vocals. The only other member uh, I do believe that is uh, considered to be the second longest uh, running member of the band is Steve Gorman on drums. He left the band in 2009. Other than that, there's been like a revolving door of uh, band members. They are back with a brand new uh, backing band um, with them uh, for Happiness Bastards. So what I'm going to do is go through my list from nine to one. Uh, so here we go. Kicking off the lists, coming in at number nine is Shake Your Money Maker. Shake Your Money Maker was released in 1990, again, through American Recordings. I got to tell you guys, when this album first came out, I really was not into the band. Um, I mean, obviously, the, they were talented, and, you know, they knew... Rich Robinson knew how to write a good melodic hook, right? And uh, Chris Robinson with the gravelly vocals, almost um, whiskey-drenched vocals, uh, you could say. Um the album was massively popular, uh, going five times platinum. You know, with the with the singles, uh, twice as hard, jealous again, hard to handle. The order of sweating cover, uh, she talks to angels. Uh, the ballad, these videos when they were released were all over much music, like every half hour, on the half hour. Um, but again. I really did not get into this album when it came out. Over the years, there were other tracks from various albums that I liked. But as a 20-year-old, when this came out, I really did not get into it. It is a good album. It is a good album. It's, but it's for that reason alone that it's number nine for me. Coming in at number eight is Amorica. America released in 1994, you know, with the iconic controversial cover with the bikini. As you can tell, I did not use that cover for the graphic. I used the, alter the alternate cover. This album um, is very layered, very dense, very textured. A lot of overdubs with slide guitars and um, harmony guitars. And it's a good album. It's it's a complex album. It's very again very layered. Uh, songs of note on the album for me are "Gone," the lead off track, 
A Conspiracy, which was the lead-off single, Wiser Time, which was another single from the album, Descending is another good track, Nonfiction, uh, Cursed Diamond, they're all good tracks. Uh, the album did achieve gold status, selling 500,000 copies in the U.S., it's funny, uh, a little side note. I was watching an interview today with Steve Gorman, and he was talking about his book, uh, Hard to Handle. And he was saying that in the interview, that with every album that the band released, from uh, Shaky Moneymaker down, every album sold less and less throughout, throughout the career. So I don't understand why, because they are a fantastic band. I really don't get it. They've had the controversies, like with the the ZZ Top tour, with the the uh, the Miller Light uh, sponsorship, etc. But they are a good band, and the albums are fantastic. So that's number eight, Amorica. Coming in at number at number seven, sorry, is War Paint. War Paint released in 2008 through uh, Megaforce Records and Silver Arrow Records, their own label. That was the first album to be released through Silver Arrow Records. Um, this album, very good, very good. I do see a maturity in the band in terms of the lyrics and in terms of the arrangements. Most of the tracks are sort of like a mid-tempo paced kind of uh, feel uh, on the drums. Songs of note are um, uh, Goodbye Daughters of the Revolution, Walk, Believe a Walk. Goodbye Daughters of the Revolution starts off the album. I should I mention that. Uh, walk, Believe a Walk is another good one. Oh, Josephine, Evergreen is another good one. We Who See the Deep is another good track. Uh, Locust Street uh, is another one. Uh, Move On Down the Line, Wounded Bird, God's Got It, and the last track, Who's Mule. It is a good album. It, to me, it, uh, I do see maturity in the band and uh, in terms of knowing where they're at, in terms of the musical landscape. Uh, the albums were were selling, but not to the degree that they were selling in the 1990s. Uh, so that's number seven, War Paint. Coming in at number six is Three Snakes and One Charm. Released in 1996, their last... Uh, album for American Recordings before they went to Columbia. Good album. Very good album. Fantastic. Uh, songs of Note are Under a Mountain, which starts the album. Good Friday, the second track on the album. Um, Nebuchadnezzar. Good fun track. I like it. Very single. Has a very a good sing-along quality to it. Um, One More Too Many uh, is another fantastic track the single blackberry is a is a good track from the album and um another song of note is uh, girl from a pawn shop well again 1996 they were trying to sort of find their way right because the albums are starting to sell less and less in terms of units being sold so I kind of felt that maybe at this point they were floundering just a little bit, right? Um, Steve Gorman had, again, had made that comment in the interview that the albums were selling less and less as they went on through the decade. So again, I don't understand why. I really don't. Uh, coming in at number five is Southern Harmony and Music Musical Companion. Released in 1992, 
this album was a hit going uh two times platinum in the US the the videos for the album were all over much music again fantastic they were on the rise at this point uh the songs of note are sting me which starts off the album remedy the second track the lead off single this sucker was all over much music in terms of video airplay and the radio fantastic drumming from Steve Gorman and additional percussion work, beautiful piano, great guitar work. I love Rich Robinson's guitar work. He he always tends to have, as I call them, uh, really fat, thick guitar tones, right? And a lot of good slide guitar on this uh, track. Other songs of note on the album are Thorn in My Pride, um, Hotel Illness, is another good track. Uh, Time Will Tell, the Bob Morelli cover. Uh, good Luck, a Blue Eyes Goodbye, which basically is just saying to whoever uh, Rich Robinson was with, get the hell out. I don't want to be with you anymore. Fantastic track. Uh, uh, again, this album was a major hit for the band. Um, and it, you know, deservedly so. It it was fantastic. Coming in at number four is Before the Frost Until the Freeze. Before the Frost Until the Freeze was released in 2009. Um, this album is very interesting. First of all, it was released in two parts, uh, 20 tracks on the album, 11 tracks on disc one, nine tracks on disc two. It was released in two parts originally. Um, Before the Frost was released um, as a standalone disc and Until the Freeze was released originally on the band's website, but now it's released as double album it was recorded at Levon Helms' uh, Barn Studio in Woodstock, New York, recorded in front of a live audience, right? Amazing album. Fan, bloody, tastic. Um, songs like um, Good Morning, Captain, uh, Been a Long Time, um, Appaloosa is another good track. Um, a Train Still Makes a Lonely Sound, um, I Ain't Hiding, and uh, CD2 starts off with uh, Aimless Peacock, uh, The Shady Grove is another good track, The Garden Gate, uh, Greenhorn, and uh, Shine Along. They're all fantastic tracks. Um, there's also a DVD that the band released on the recording of the album called Cabin Fever. So what you have on Cabin Fever, the DVD, and you can see Cabin Fever on YouTube. You can stream it on YouTube as well. It's 74 minutes long. They're basically doing 11 tracks from the album in front of an audience. And it's a very intimate setting. And in between the music that they're playing, they cut away to various interviews or discussions that the band are having. There's a discussion that uh, Chris Robinson and Levon Helm are having about the recording of the album after one of the performances. It is fantastic. And if you can watch it on YouTube, when you have a chance, please do. It is great. Fantastic. That's number four. Coming in on number three is By Your Side. By Your Side was released in 1999 through Columbia. They had jumped ship from American Recordings. They signed a deal with Columbia. They felt that American Recordings, after the years that they'd been with them, still had no idea of how to deal with the band or who the band were. 
they thought that Columbia gave them the artistic freedom to do whatever they wanted to do or needed to do musically. Fast-paced album, really ass-kicking, ass-shaking rock. Just amazing. Uh, songs of note are uh, Go Faster, that leads off the album. Uh, Kicking My Heart Around, which was one of the singles. By Your Side, beautiful track. Just beautiful mid mid tempo track. Just amazing. Uh, Horsehead is another good track. Um, Only a Fool, Heavy, and uh, Welcome to the Good Times. Those are the tracks that stand out for me. Amazing. Amazing. So that's number three. Um, coming in at number two is Happiness Bastards. Happiness Bastards, uh, released today, March 15th. I'll show it to you here again. I have it here uh, through Silver Arrow Recordings. Fantastic album. For me, the band are back. I'll show you uh, what the inside cover is like. Here you go. <clears throat> Very minimal in terms of cover art. It is melodic, it is ass shaking, it is catchy, it is hook, it has hooks all over the place. Uh, the lead off single for the album is Wanting Waiting. Beautiful. I mean, Chris Robinson still has it vocally um, in terms of being able to come up with melodic hooks and uh, good melody lines. Rich Robinson is there, is in there as well. Uh, other songs of note are, um, besides Wanting Waiting, uh, Bedside Manners, Rats and Clowns, um, Flesh Wound is another good track, uh, Cross Your Fingers, which starts off acoustically and it kicks in. The drums kick, drums and guitars kick in around the 2 minute 50 second mark. Uh, Bleed a Dry is another fantastic track. Wilted Rose. Featuring, um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, uh, Lainey Williams, I do believe. Uh, and the album closer, um, Kindred Friend, which is just beautiful. It's a mid-tempo uh, track, very uh, beautiful, very emotive. And it's basically saying that, you know, no matter what happens in terms of relationships, uh, you can still be friends if you want it bad enough. Please check out the uh, uh, album review that I did today for Happiness Bastards. It's The album is fantastic. That's number two. Coming in at number one is Lions. Lions was released in uh, 2001 through V2 Records, uh, distributed through Universal. V2 stood for Virgin 2. Um, fantastic album produced by Don Was. The leadoff single was Lickin'. Fantastic, funky track. Amazing, amazing. Other songs in there on the album are the leadoff track, uh, A Midnight from the Inside Out, um, come on, uh, no use lying. Fantastic. Um, Losing My Mind, which is a beautiful emotional track. Um, Ozone Mama, you know, just amazing. Uh, Greasy Grass River, Soul Singing, the second track, the uh, second single, sorry, from the album, which to me has more of a a gospel feel to it because you have 
the call and response uh, from Ridge, uh, Chris Robinson, sorry, I say Ridge Robinson, Chris Robinson and the backup singers, they do a lot of that call and response in terms of their vocal arrangements uh, with backup singers on the album. Uh, Miracle to Me is another fantastic track. Um, Young Man, Old Man. I mean, there's hooks all over this album. Uh, Cosmic Friend, fantastic. Uh, Cypress Tree. And uh, the last track, Lay It All On Me. Just amazing. Lions, I remember when it was released, uh, Lickin was all over, again, much music, played ad nauseum. I, I, and it reached number 20 in the Canadian charts, I do believe. But for some reason, the album dropped off pretty quickly. And they were dropped from V2 records for some reason so there you have it um, my ranking the albums of the black crows from numbers nine to one please in the comments below you know put your uh your ranking of the albums and what you think of the black crows you know um everyone has an opinion again there are no right or wrong answers just opinion so please let me know what you think and uh click like and the notification bell and keep yourselves on top of any new Content that I've got coming up. Also, please click subscribe. All those, uh, all those uh, things do help the channel. I will be back with uh, Bill Schuster um, sometime next week to continue our uh, top five albums of the '90s. We covered 1990. We have yet to cover years 1991 through 1999. So please stay tuned for that. I have other uh, albums. Or, uh, other shows coming up. Sorry, it's late, guys. And uh, please stay tuned for that. So for now, I will bid you goodbye. I'm Armando Venditti saying have a good night. Please look after yourselves again and one another. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye for now.